The Commissioner for Competition is the member of the European Commission responsible for competition. The current Commissioner is Margrethe Vestager Responsibilities The portfolio has responsibility for such matters as commercial competition, company mergers, cartels, state aid, and anti-trust law. The position became the sole merger authority for the European Economic Area in September 1990. The Competition Commissioner is one of the most powerful positions in the Commission and is notable in affecting global companies. For example, notably preventing the merge of two U.S. companies, General Electric and Honeywell, in 2001. In 2007, Neely Crowes then Competition Commissioner was the only commissioner to make Forbes magazine's list of the world's 100 most powerful women. She held position 59. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Past Commissioners. Topic: Mario Monti, 1999 to 2004. Mario Monti is particularly notable for his ruling during the GE Honeywell merger attempt in 2001. General Electric, a U.S. company, sought to acquire another U.S. company, Honeywell. This merger had been approved by U.S. authorities, however Monty, with the backing of the rest of the Commission, rejected the merger. Rather than be blocked from the European market, the merger was abandoned. This was the first time that a merger between two U.S. companies had been blocked solely by European authorities, only the second time it had blocked just two U.S. companies and only the fifteenth merger it had blocked ever since it started work. On 1 May 2004 Monty oversaw a radical change in the competition powers of the Commission concerning antitrust regulation, merger controls, licensing agreements and air transport. <laughs> Neely Crows During Neely Crow's hearing at the European Parliament, MEPs expressed concern about whether Ms. Crow's had a sufficiently detailed grasp of certain specific subjects, but was approved as part of the Commission in 2004. Since then she states that she promotes a fair and free business environment, achieving sustainable economic growth and higher employment. The Commission has been involved in a number of high-profile cases fighting anti-competitive behavior, such as the case against the merger of Sony, BMG, against Apple Inc. regarding iTunes and the ongoing case against Microsoft. The latter has been an ongoing dispute on a number of issues. In April 2007, Microsoft became the first company to refuse to comply with the Commission's rulings. In response, Commissioner Crowes is looking at more harsher methods to gain the cooperation of companies. We have never, ever before encountered a company that has refused to comply with Commission decisions. We learned we may have to look for a more effective remedy." In September 2007, the Court of First Instance EU's second highest court upheld the Commission's decision to fine Microsoft €497 million Euro and its order for to Microsoft for it to share its information setting what the Commission described as an "...important precedent." Crowes stated that Today's court ruling, shows that the Commission was right to take its decision, and right to take firm action to enforce that decision." 
Either party may appeal to the European Court of Justice. In response to the ruling the U.S. Justice Department's top antitrust official, Thomas Barnett, criticized the ruling which sparked a response from Crowe's stating that it is totally unacceptable that a representative of the U.S. administration criticizes an independent court of law outside its jurisdiction. It is absolutely not on. The European Commission does not pass judgment on rulings by U.S. courts and we expect the same degree of respect from U.S. authorities for rulings by EU courts. Crows holds a strong belief in free market principles and was tough with offenders. By the time her term as competition commissioner ended, she had completed most major cases. Topic: <laughs> Joaquin Almunia 2010 to 2014. Joaquin Almunia, previously the Finance Commissioner, took on the competition portfolio under the second Barroso Commission in 2010 and was expected to have a tenure similar to Crow's stringent run. His appointment was welcomed by competition lawyers as someone well qualified and experienced. He also impressed Parliament at his hearing and early on in his work has had to deal with whether or not to pursue action against Google. He has also come out in favour of the idea of a European monetary fund to deal with defaulting member states. <laughs> List of commissioners See also Directorate General for Competition European Union Competition Law European Union v. Microsoft <laughs>